So the last project we have for November is our little apple garland. Um, I only have three on mine because I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Besides, if I held it all the way out, you wouldn't be able to see it anyways. You have enough to make eight. So that's what we're doing right now. Go ahead, get your bag with stuff if you don't already have. I'm going to show you with blue yarn because that's the color I had left. You're getting them in like little balls like this. So again, just like Christmas lights. I don't know how they get all tangled all by themselves, but go ahead and and just put it down and then take the end and you're just gonna wrap the entire thing around your hand now the cool thing that I would love to see yours but that you do because you guys have smaller hands so they should be a little bit tighter because if you look at mrs. Ribner's it's kind of loose because I have a bigger hand where I think for you guys they'll be a little bit rounder and and cute and that's why I decided to go with apples as opposed to just pumpkins so you're gonna wrap it all the way around. You also, in that bag, oops, gotta go slow. This is what happens, it gets all mixed up. Also in your bag, you should have a about a six inch piece that's the same colors, and that's what you're gonna tie it off with. So again, use the whole thing. They should all be about the same I counted on my hand like 80 you guys because of your little hands you'll probably get like a hundred so once it's completely wrapped and careful of this little piece that's where you're gonna want to hold it pull it off your hand so now you have this little bunch get your strand that's the same color wrap it around and then put it down so that you don't drop it and get it all uh, tangled up tie it as tight as you can there's one as always I do two knots if you want to do three three is good too and then cut the little extra pieces off because you don't want those hanging down and this little piece that was the end you can either tuck it in or you can cut it as well Sounds like thunder. <laughs> then you also have um, a, a little piece of chenille stick. I'm gonna do orange just because it shows up better, but you guys have brown because apples have brown. And, and all I did was tuck it under that piece that we just tied up with. Pushed it all the way through so that we have two pieces like this. I turned it just once again to make it twisty and then what I did was the string that you have so you also have string but so the string that's how I attached it was on this and that way when you do it that way just kind of fold it over you can move it okay which is kind of cool because then you just can put them on you don't have to worry about spacing them out and then you get to hang them all up. So kind of fun. Again, you don't have to really uh, think about it too much. You're just wrapping. It's a good way to count. We all need practice counting. I know you guys are in third and fourth grade and so you're awesome counters by now, but I counted for all of you, I counted to 80, like I said. So you should be up to about 100 with your tiny little hands. So that's it guys. I hope you have fun. I. I uh, had a really good time making them and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Take care.